So there's been a lot of confusion and controversy surrounding the outcome of the Daniel Dubois, Alexander Usyk decision last night. Uh, you've got one camp saying one thing, the other camp saying something else, and it's understandable given the result and the emotions involved. But I wanted to try and get to the bottom of what's actually the truth in this situation and get beyond the opinions of the different parties involved, all of which you kind of have their own vested interests. So I didn't truthfully know what was right and wrong in this situation. And so I thought I'll try and get to the bottom of it. And then I thought I'd share it with you guys just in case anyone's interested in what I found. So the rules that were enforced for this fight make a big difference because there isn't one standard rules of boxing used across every fight at every level. So it matters, firstly, what do the rules that were actually being used in this fight actually say? So in this case, according to Alex Krasik in the interview that he did with Seconds Out, him and Usyk this morning, it was the WBA rules actually used for this fight. Now, if you go online, what I did was I looked at the WBA rules, which is an 84-page PDF that's available on WBAboxing.com. There isn't actually, as far as I can tell, a specific definition of what constitutes a low blow in the WBA rules. So it doesn't actually give an anatomical marker, the belly button, the belt, or any other kind of marker, the midpoint of the hips. These were all things that different people have brought up, but there isn't actually anything in the rules that clarifies which of these points constitutes a low blow and, and which of them is a legal blow. So that's obviously a problem because it leaves it up to the referee's discretion in a sport where you also don't have an instant replay and you have different rules that are used in different countries. And I think that's where a lot of the confusion came from. So, for example, in the UK, in a fight that's contested under the British Boxing Board of Control rules, according to what I can see on the website in the actual rules of the British Boxing Board of Control, they say it's a punch below the belt line. Now, Dubois and his team, I suspect, are probably more familiar with that. And so I think from their point of view, Don Charles probably really does think it was a low, uh, legal blow, that the referee was wrong, and that the fight shouldn't have been stopped. But that's not the rules that were actually being used here. The WBA rules don't, don't actually say. And then on the other hand, you have the Usyk people saying that it's a illegal blow because it's below the navel. But that's true in some of the other federations or commissions in their rules, it does actually say that. So for instance, and this was Alex Krasik who said in the ABC rules, which is the Association of Boxing Commissions, it's um, they, they oversee basically a lot of the commissions in North America. So a lot of the big fights in, in North America would be under the ABC rules. And for them, a foul is actually below the navel, not below the belt line. Now, if you look at the pictures, in this case, the punch was clearly below the navel, but it wasn't clearly below the belt. So it makes a big difference if we're talking about the navel or the belt as far as whether it was a legal or an illegal punch. The problem is the British rules say one thing. The ABC rules say something different. The WBA rules, which were actually the ones that were followed in this contest, don't say either one. They don't specify, as far as I can tell. If someone else can go into the rules, the WBA rules, and find something um, more specific, please point it out in the comments. But as far as I can tell, there's nothing specifically mentioned. Now, the other thing to note is that the Dubois people are saying it's a robbery because if the referee hadn't got the decision wrong as they see it, then Usyk would have been knocked out. But the truth is we don't know that because if you watch the replay, the referee ruled it was a low blow almost immediately. And what that means is that Usyk never had to rise to a 10 count. We don't know what would have happened if the referee had started counting to 10. We don't know. And so people say that Dubois would have won. It would have been a knockout. We don't know. Usyk didn't have to get up within 10 seconds, and so he didn't try. And conversely, 
we don't know that he would have been able to either. He might have, but he might not have. We'll never know the answer to that question. But it wasn't a robbery in the sense that the WBA rules don't actually say what is a low blow and what isn't. The British rules and the ABC rules say two different things. And I think that's where a lot of the confusion came from. That and the fact that obviously the Usyk people are going to feel that they won the fight fair and square and the Dubois people are going to feel like they were cheated out of a victory. But as far as I can tell, the rules in place for this fight left it up to the referee's discretion. He ruled that it was a low blow and he told Usyk immediately that he didn't have to get up, meaning we will never know if he would have come to his feet in 10 seconds or not. And the last thing is that as far as whether it should have been a point deduction, because that's something that Frank Warren was talking about in the press conference, that if the referee thought it was a low blow, why didn't he deduct points? Well, again, according to the WBA rules, if it was an intentional low blow, he has to deduct points. But in this case, it was an accidental low blow. He doesn't have to deduct points. That's the referee's discretion. So as far as I can tell, in summary, the rules didn't actually say whether it's the navel or the belt line. The referee had the discretion to decide that. There can be debate about what the referee told them in private and different people have said different things, what was said before the fight, but we won't know as the public what was actually said. We can only go on what we know. The WBA rules don't say the referee did not have to give a points deduction for an accidental knockdown or an accidental low blow rather. And we'll never know whether Usyk would have got up in 10 seconds or not because he didn't have to. So I hope that has provided some interesting food for thought for you guys. I certainly found it interesting. I didn't know the answers to these questions beforehand. Um, and hopefully that's provided a new and more objective way of looking at the situation.